Take a deep breath. If your shoulders are tense, ease up. Brain, voice, sound, ears, brain, meaning. Through some complex processes we can't understand yet, your mind is creating the image of me in your head. My first question for you all is, are you alive or are you living or just existing? Think back to today, this week, these last few months and years, how you related to the people around you, how you spent your nights, those last moments before trying to sleep, the food you ate and the smiles you gave, how many times you cried, how many times you genuinely hugged someone. I was in around fifth grade when I realized every day felt exactly the same. I'd wake up in a eh, mood, snooze my alarm clock, scroll through social media trying to gather up my willpower. I'd have breakfast in a mindless haste, get on the bus, listen to the same playlist, go to school, talk to my friends, definitely not talk to my crush, not participate much in class, do what was expected of me. I'd get home, scroll through social media, procrastinate, you know, the usual. All the deadlines, all the expectations, all the preoccupations. I'd binge watch a series, have dinner. My parents usually ate later, and we just watched TV as I ate besides my sister. We never really talked. Wake up, eat, bus, school, bus, home, scroll, 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 procrastination, homework, eat, sleep, wake up, hurry, 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 deadline after deadline after deadline, and on and on. It was this mindless cycle of non-repetition. And I began to realize how I was more existing passively, monotonously, zombified, rather than living. I wondered how common a human experience this was. So I asked my friends uh, during our middle school sleepovers when conversation went past midnight. And most of us felt the same, terrified of wasting away our existence. Are you all alive or just existing? Have you ever been alive? When did you stop? What makes you stop? Fear, work, dissatisfaction, exhaustion. I know it's difficult, especially now with the quarantine, but are you experiencing your life the way you genuinely want to? Do you question that? Later, during one of my summer breaks, I found myself once again mindlessly scrolling through social media. And that afternoon, I'd spent a long while but it was hard to snap out of it, stand up, and do things. It felt so comfortable to not have to concentrate on what I'd really rather be doing. Suddenly, I don't know what stalking rabbit hole I was in, I saw a post of a girl my age doing art, writing, photography, the things I'm passionate about, things I told myself, oh, I'll begin doing that during the summer break, when I actually have time. And there I was, summer break, laying in bed with my phone, knowing I'd been there for hours. I'd been there, but my mind hadn't been there. My attention wasn't on something for more than 10 seconds. And there I was, realizing this was how I'd spent my summer. There's this quote from a series I love, Bojack Horseman. Princess Caroline says, I got into this business because I love stories. They comfort us. They inspire us, they create a context for how we experience the world. But also, you have to be careful. Because if you spend a lot of time with stories, you start to believe that life is just stories. And it's not. Life is life. And that's so sad, because there's so little time. And what are we doing with it? Because there's so little time, and what are we doing with it? That last part made me pause the show and write the whole thing down.
Back to my little story, I got a feeling of frustration, of regret, of indignation at myself, because this was not how I wished to live my life. The equivalent of this mindless scrolling was a numb brain, my brain on a zombified vegetable state. And so many damn hours of not being there, of not working on a new skill or doing something I like, or simply breathing and being aware that I am alive. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has succumbed to this mindlessness time and time again. For me, it was hours on social media. I ask you, what's your numbing poison? Binge watching stupid shows, food, more drinks or partying than you'd like to admit? Please, stop numbing yourself out. It can be hard, I've been a victim. Life can get unbearable sometimes. Heavy, overwhelming, underwhelming. Sometimes you'll feel like crying and maybe even dying. You'll feel like you wanna pause time for a long, long while and never wake up. And that's okay. It's part of the human experience too. Allow yourself to feel that. Know that you won't feel that way forever. Sometimes you'll feel like screaming, but other times, other times, you'll also feel like screaming as, as the roller coaster gathers up speed and you'll feel that wonderful adrenaline induced euphoria. You will feel like screaming your lungs out when singing off key with your friends and you will cuddle your dog and you will look at someone in the eye and realize that you love them. The question is, will you let them know? Will you risk that moment of emotional vulnerability? Risk maybe getting uncomfortable? Because here's the thing, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, I'm gonna die, we all will. Our time here is running out. Nothing matters, some would argue. Nothing matters, so do what you truly want to do. Build a life you genuinely want to live. Live for what makes you feel alive. To hell with fear, with that little voice inside your head that makes you doubt. That voice that tells you that you shouldn't even try. That tells you that they're all gonna judge you. That voice that shuts you down and says you'll get rejected. Because, as cliche as it sounds, the only way of knowing is trying it out. And if you fall, if you fail, then you get up again and keep going. I want you to go out there and do it. Smile at that acquaintance crossing the hallway. Start that conversation with this random stranger. Rock that heavy eyeliner. Overdress. Ask your crush out this weekend. Apply for that position. Wear shorts just because you feel like it. Try that weird ice cream flavor and dance by yourself at midnight. Begin that personal project you've always dreamed of. Book a therapist appointment. Participate. Go for it. Do not succumb to your comfort zone. It will slowly kill you. It will make you feel like you're just existing instead of living. And also, don't take things for granted. Think of a year ago, when your life would take a drastic turn on a random Friday. The quarantine. Nothing is certain. We won't be here forever. You will graduate high school, like me, college, get fired, find a new job. You will move cities. Time will fly by. Now I ask you, what will you regret more? The things you did? or the things you didn't do. That person won't be in your life forever. Have you let them know how much they mean to you? Now, think of all those things you told yourself you'd get to tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 and always tomorrow. But what about today, right now? And here's another idea I want you to contemplate the odds of planet Earth and the human brain. In this vast, cold, lifeless universe, planet Earth, our home, 
is a thing. Contemplate the odds of life itself, of life, of biodiversity, of the existence of something like art, culture, love. Think about what needed to happen for the first tiny organisms to evolve over eons to create complex animals. Animals that, that tell stories, question their place in the universe, and have words for concepts such as life and death. Animals capable of doing art and doing math, of feeling hate and of feeling love. The wonder of the human brain. How billions of these tiny things, twinkle neurons, send electrochemical impulses, able to make you do things, to move, to think things, to feel things, to make you run around and sing and question why you're all sitting there listening to me. The world and your brain. These two marvelous things are enough to make living a bleak, monotonous life an atrocity. Please, do not succumb to your comfort zone and the numbness it entails. And whenever you feel like you're submitting, take a deep breath and ask yourself, is this how I wish to spend my numbered days? Yes, absolutely nothing matters. We're all gonna die. But before that, before that, we are gonna be alive, live, human beings with a brain capable of falling in love and feeling rage and questioning its existence and a world of life opportunities. So whenever you get shivers from listening to music or you feel the need to stir at a wall to process this really insightful movie or you get this bittersweet feeling of nostalgia, allow yourself to feel that. This is your humanity. Allow yourself to experience the range of the human experience and be brave enough to do so because the gift of your life is finite. Cherish that. So please, as soon as you leave this room or you finish watching this video, I want you to go out there and hold the reins of your life. Be aware of how precious it is. Be present. Be an active participant. Live deliberately, live intensely, passionately, with your heart on your sleeve and an open mind. Because this miracle of you existing right here, right now, this bittersweet marvel of living the human experience, that your life, that's all you've got. So please, don't let it go to waste. Thank you.